Good morning, dear students. In today's science class, we are going to continue our chapter number 5, Separation of Substances. Till now, in this chapter, we have discussed about the hand-picking method and winnowing. In today's class, we are going to discuss about threshing method. Alright. So, quickly we will move to that. Alright. So, what do you mean by threshing? Threshing means beating the stalks on a hard object. And that is called a threshing. So, in your rural areas or in villages, you must have seen the farmers, what they do when they have to separate the grains from the stalks. What they do? They just make its bundle. They make the bundle of grains and they beat it hardly on a hard substance so that the grains can separate out from the stalks. So, this is the method for separating the grains from the stalks. All right. So, threshing is done to separate the grains from the stalks. So, quickly I am going to show you one video in which you can see how this method is being done. All right. So, here is the video. Here in this video, you can see one farmer is beating high these grains. So, you must have seen bundles of wheat or paddy stalks lying in fields after harvesting the crop. Stalks are dried in the sun before the grain is separated from them. Each stalk has many grain seed at attached to it. Imagine the number of grain seeds in hundreds of bundles of stalk lying in the field. How does the farmer separate grain seeds from those bundle of stalks? One may pluck mangoes or guavas from the trees, but grain seeds are much smaller than mangoes or guavas. So, plucking them from their stalks would be impossible. How does one separate grain seeds from their stalks? The process that is used to separate grain from stalk is called threshing. In this process, the stalks are beaten to free the grains. Sometimes, threshing is done with the help of bullocks. Machines are also used to thresh large quantities of grains. So, students, I hope you all have understood how this threshing method is performed to separate the grains from the stock. Alright. So, now I am going to move to another method that is your, let's see what is that method. It's sieving. Alright. So, here sieving method is used to separate Particles of different size with the help of sieve is called sieving. You all must have seen at your home that in the kitchen, your mother used this sieve to separate the wheat flour from the unwanted materials which are present in that. So, for performing this method of separation, what you need to have the particle, the impurities and the wheat flour both should have a different sizes. Imagine if both the things, the impurities and the wheat flour both have the same size, what will happen? They both will pass through their holes of seeds. So, our purpose of separating these two things will not be fulfilled. So, it is very important that the thing which we have to separate from a mixture should have a different size. Either it should have a bigger size or smaller size. Then only we can separate this mixture. Alright. Next method is your magnetic separation. The magnetic separation method is very simple. 
In this method, we use magnet to separate only those materials which has a magnetic property. All right. Using a magnet to separate magnetic materials from non-magnetic is called magnetic separation. Here in this picture, you can see sulfur and iron fillings. Here with the help of marker, I will show you. Here you can see the sulfur and here is the iron filling. So what we are going to do, we are going to mix both the things in this bowl over here. And now we are going to rotate this magnet. So what will happen as the moment the magnet will come close to this mixture, the iron fillings which are present here will quickly attach to this magnet. So what will happen, the magnet will, this, the iron will get separated from this sulfur. Alright.